Hey, and welcome to my channel, The Fluffy Oracle. My name is Heather, and this is your pick a card reading for the day. Have you ever wondered why you're together with a person in your relationship currently? Or why you have a crush on a specific someone and where that actually might lead one day if you were to actually get together? Well, this pick a card is all about just that. So today's choices are the white ball of happiness, which is a selenite sphere that I just got from my hubby as another gift. The big blue ball of bliss, the blue appetite sphere, or what he loves to call the big black ball of doom, <laughs> which is the black obsidian sphere. It's not a bad crystal, guys. He just makes up really silly names for my crystals because I have a really, really big affinity affection type of thing with crystals <laughs> and he just likes to be silly and I love him all the more for it and I am so very grateful and appreciative of all the gifts he's been giving me but anyways timestamps will be down below for your choices and for your convenience and without further ado let's jump in with the white ball of happiness so for my loves who chose the big white ball of happiness. Let's see what we get. These are going to be the reason that spirit chose for you guys to meet and be together. These will be the current um, lessons that you are learning from each other, the benefits of these lessons, and some guidance on where your relationship is actually headed for kind of like an outcome overview, and some notes of positive love guidance for you both to help with you during this time and also maybe heal a little bit too if there's been any like issues going on that you might need a little bit of help with alrighty so let's take a look at the overview for what spirits decision was for you guys being together so we have trapped and then we have strength the warrior and risk so with this I feel like spirit gave you this push to take a giant leap of faith and risk in being with this person to help get you out of a trapped situation from previous relationship so that you could actually grow and have a little bit more inner strength and be a little bit more emotionally strong as well for your reasons for why you guys are together for why spirit put you in each other's path and help this relationship come together. So let's take a look at the lessons that you guys are currently learning from each other. What you're currently learning from each other is how to sit down and see each other face to face and actually have a conversation with each other and be on equal value level instead of one above the other. And also sit there and have those heart to heart conversations openly and confidently with each other. And then we have caught in the ruins so the other lessons that you're learning from this is so that you don't feel so trapped in a relationship so that you don't feel like you're so caged or like trapped with one another or only tied to that person and bound with them for all eternity. It's not that case. You're learning to actually cohabitate and coexist with this person in perfect harmony so that you don't have this feeling of being trapped. And then we have the journey. It's all about going with the flow with this and being able to be open emotionally with each other and is seeing where everything is going and always looking towards the horizon with each other and having that future and that longevity with each other is what I get. So let's see what the benefits of these relationship um, lessons that you guys are learning. We have synergy and healing with the cauldron. So with this, everything is just a big melting pot and it's all coming together in perfect harmony. And um, it's just one big giant brew of absolute pure bliss and happiness eventually. Even if there's some times where everything seems like it's very hot and kind of frustrating. These are life lessons. Is the, basically what I'm hearing with this, okay? And then we have emotional intelligence. It's helping you to also understand how to be emotionally strong for yourself instead of kind of like being codependent on another person. And that's 
one of the benefits of this, which is a really good benefit so that you don't have that codependency ever again. And so that you know that you are strong within. And it says the lamp with remembrance. These lessons and the benefits of this are lighting the way for you for any kind of future relationships if this were to ever end. And also vice versa to keep you guys headed in the right direction and following the light at the end of the tunnel for you both. And then we have some guidance on where this relationship is actually headed and why. We have happy family. So this is headed for a very deeply committed relationship for you guys and it's going to be a really awesome outcome and I really feel like you guys are going to have a happy family eventually when you get to that stage and that level of commitment with each other when you're ready for it. So if you're wondering if it's been heading in that direction, it definitely is. And then we have the thinking woman, which is why I said if you've been wondering about it. It's, I get the feeling that this has been on a few of you or on a few of my viewers' minds. And it's something that they've been thinking about for a very long time, whether you're a man or woman or same-sex couple, it doesn't matter, vice versa. You've been thinking about that type of commitment for your partner and you for a very long time and wondering where exactly it's going and how it's transforming. transforming excuse me. And then we have woman holding a heart. Because... You've given so much of yourself to each other that you feel it's really starting to blossom with this transformation and you're getting really excited about this with a deeper level of commitment with your partner is what I get. And that that's exactly where this is headed, where you've been hoping and wishing because you've given that much of yourself. So let's get some guidance on some extra love for you guys. So we have take time. <clears throat> not take time yeah <laughs> time to make a demonstration yeah <laughs> if i can read correctly today <laughs> so this card reads the older the soul the softer the glance the quicker the smile and the sooner to say i love you they also skip oh, <clears throat> skip and wink more than normal and hold hands with those they walk beside utterly fearless the universe these cards are actually my new cards they are um notes from the universe for one second i gotta find the box because i literally got this deck yesterday this is the deck they are notes from the universe on love and connection so far i'm absolutely loving these cards so the next one you guys got, you guys have your treasure is at hand. Sure, you can always find prettier, handsomer, skinnier, wiser, richer, younger, zip, zippier. Yeah, zipper. <laughs> zippier. But more often than not, one learns the most, laughs the loudest, and smiles the widest. With those they've already found. Especially when they stop looking elsewhere. <clears throat> Actually, Zippier is on quite a few lists. Hmm. Honestly, that's weird, but interesting. And then it says Tally Ho, the universe, which means basically just keep going forward. And I feel like you've found the one. So there's no need to look elsewhere is what they're saying with this card. Because those qualities are all in this person. They're just still coming outward. See me in their eyes. Whenever conferring with another, either face to face or across the miles, whether a human being, departed spirit, or a sentient tree, always speak to them. <clears throat> speak to the, to the highest within them. Excuse me. It makes such a difference. Amen, the universe. P.S. Yeah, as if some trees weren't sentient. <laughs> Glad you caught that. So with this, see things through their eyes and vice versa. Alrighty. That way you guys can see each other in the same light and also see yourselves in that same light because they are a mirror of you, which is another reason why you're together and why you can see so much and have so much in common with them. 
Last but not least, we have this isn't a soul on the planet, or there isn't a soul on the planet who doesn't crave your appeal or approval. Excuse me. Yeah. And appeal because they really like your sex appeal. They think you're really attractive is what I got from that. The only difference between a friend and a foe is that you've decided where love can grow. And then it says, ho, oh. <laughs> the universe. <laughs> I'm sorry. My mind just really went there when I read the word ho oh, because that's not what I think of <laughs> when reading this. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a little bit child-minded today with that. <laughs> but I do hope that you got a good laugh, um, laugh with that as much as I did. So... <clears throat> Basically, there's no difference, really. It's just where you place your heart and how you see the other person is what that means with this card. So I do hope that these readings or this reading and these messages resonated with you and that you enjoyed them. And to my newbies, thank you so much for checking me out. And to my current subscribers, I love you all. Thank you guys so much. We are almost at a thousand and I am so super excited with you guys. You guys have made this so fun and so great so far and it's only going to keep getting better. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love yous and see you later. Alrighty, so for my loves who chose the big blue ball of bliss or the blue appetite sphere, Let's see what we have for you. So these messages right here are going to be the reason why spirit has gotten you two together or will be meeting up together and why you've met them as well. These will be the lessons that you're currently learning from each other or going to be learning from each other. These will be the benefits of those lessons. And these will be where your relationship will be heading and why. And some extra love guidance from my new oracle deck which i will show you in one second which i'm absolutely loving is the notes from the universe on love and connection so let's dive in and see what spirit has to say as to why you guys are thinking about this and why you're together or going to be and meeting up so individuality so this card for me speaks of being brave, confident, and self-aware and really holding your own. So I feel like the reason for this, for them pushing you two together, is because you finally learned that lesson that you don't need to be codependent on someone else. And also to yeah, this is a really desirable connection and it's very favorable because we have lust and I feel like this person is just the type of person that's going to be that one for you to really hold, want to hold on to as much as them vice versa with you. We have oath. I feel like this is going to be a very loyal and committed relationship and that's why they've bring you guys together because that's what you've been seeking and asking the universe for is what I get and what I hear. And then we have the moon. Because you've been tired of waiting and waiting for the unknown to happen and you've also let go and let God basically or the universe help you out with figuring this out and bringing this person finally into your life and helping guide you through that unknown time and also just relax and find yourself finally once and for all so that way you are ready for this person. So let's see what these lessons are going to be that you're either currently learning from each other or going to be learning from each other. So we have add some. With this, I feel like it's going, one of the lessons that you are going to be learning from each other is to listen to your intuition and to also listen to each other when you speak to each other and to also <clears throat> pick up on their kind of subtle cues basically and almost kind of like a have a telepathic bond like so you can basically finish, finish each other's sentences and know what the other is feeling, thinking or seeing and wanting to say at the time so that you have a closer bond and connection with each other. Then we have the architect. 
you will be learning to grow together and work together as a team and also pretty much put things together and design your life and plan it out for the future together. And it will be also some more teamwork and more unity and loyalty between the two of you. We have clearing the way. So while you're working together, it's going to help you get down this path to where you want to be at that house all the way at the end that I'm seeing. And it's helping you get down this long journey and road together as a team and a divine couple. And not just as one person versus the other. Alrighty. So what are the benefits of these lessons? We have ghost with regret. The benefits of these lessons are to actually not that word at all. What I get from this is to actually be able to see each other, to bring each other from being unseen to being seen instead of blending in the background and not being heard or seen by each other. And then we have hearth. Happiness is in our hearts and homes. The benefit of this, these lessons is to help you have that happy home, to have that safe place for you to go to, you know, want to be at home together, to have that Netflix and chill type of thing. You know what I'm saying? That type of close knit bond so that that way you want to be home with this person. You want to spend as much time as you possibly can with this person because they make you happy. And that's what this is all about. And one of the benefits it's going to be of this teamwork that you guys have coming in. And then we have illumination with skull of light. It's also helping you guys develop your intuition together. Like I had said before, and actually kind of have that telepathic bond together. And it's kind of like you already have that as well. I feel like some of you have already learned this lesson because you know, when the other one is thinking of the other, because you automatically call or text them or something, something happens where one of you calls or texts the other, or you have some kind of like bumping into and communication with them. That type of thing. So that's pretty awesome for benefit. So let's see where your relationship is headed. We have blossoming abundance. So lots of happiness and great times are coming in for you. And it's absolutely a, a wonderful thing because once you guys have this closer knit bond together, you're going to be that much more powerful together and that much more abundant in love. We have community. With this, I feel it's more of having that. Let me one second. I need a minute for this one. Because I think it's yeah. OK, so we have woman holding a coin. So with this, you're headed in a direction where there's going to be a little bit of a challenge. But it's also going to be cause for celebration because you're coming into some abundance together but you have to intuitively follow your intuition. All right. So that that way you can have that celebration together because I feel like there's a wedding coming up. I just heard wedding and I keep feeling that with this card. Like I don't really know why, but if that resonates with whoever this is out there that that's for, and it makes sense to you, let me know down below for what that was because I'm just like, okay, I'm just going to say what I'm getting because that's just what I can do at the moment. <laughs> but anyway this relationship is going to be leading in that direction of a divine unity and a having a celebration together and a being more abundantly strong together and having that ultimate strength and growth between you two and having a family of five really bra five hey well more the merrier i guess whoever's at that stage of, you know, talking about planning about having kids, congratulations. Family of five coming up. I don't really know. Don't hold me to it. Don't judge me. I'm just saying what I got. <laughs> so anyway. So let's get these messages of love for you guys to have some extra guidance. All right. We have enjoy your extraordinary uniqueness. That sounds fun. So the message reads, <clears throat> reads, do you know what you've created? No, besides an intricately known um, saunter named after you. 
inspiration in the eyes that have watched you, hope in the minds that have admired you, and love in the hearts that have known you. But you might ease up on your um, sachet before someone gets hurt. Not bad, kiddo. Not bad at all. The universe. So basically they're telling you you've both done well for each other and to keep going and to keep that thriving within the both of you is what I get from this. We have everyone is doing their best. <clears throat> there are really only two types of people in this world, basically. Those you, um, those you now love and those you will love. So I feel like this is for somebody who will be meeting this person. And it's kind of a confirmation of that for you. For whoever this is out there. Until there's only one type of person. And then we'll probably hit replay. <laughs> the game of life. The universe. So that was some pretty cool confirmation for those who, have you, who are, have yet to meet their divine partner. And who are about to. And wondering if they're about to. So we have prepare for the ad, <clears throat> for the prepare to be astounded. I can't speak today. My voice is even starting to go. <clears throat> Send them love. Wish them peace. See them happy. Everyone always forever. And perhaps to be astounded, the universe. P.S. Oh man, and will you ever become a big time manifester? Uh, manifesting that abundance baby like I said before that's some confirmation for you guys and then we have I heart you yes I really love you guys too <laughs> if <clears throat> if everyone really knew how much they were loved not only from above but by those now in their life there'd be li um, little hearts drawn on everything from wheelbarrows to skyscrapers to jumbo jets and I still look forward to that day big heart the universe so know that you are loved and divinely loved in all ways shapes sizes and forms with that is what I got alrighty thank you guys so much for watching my videos and for my new viewers Thank you guys so much for checking me out. If you like this type of thing and you like my videos, please feel free to consider subscribing and joining our big happy family. We are almost at 1K, people. Thank you so much. For real. Seriously, for all my subscribers who are currently subscribed to me and sh liking and sharing my videos and giving me all those awesome and amazingly beautiful com uh, comments down below. I truly and truly appreciate them and I truly appreciate you guys so much. I love you. Thank you for watching and have a blessed one. Alrighty, so for my loves who chose the Black Obsidian or the Big Black Ball of Doom, as my husband calls it, <laughs> let's see what we have for you, okay? These are for the reasons that Spirit has you guys either going to meet each other or are currently with each other. These are the lessons that you either will be learning or have learned or are currently learning. The benefits of said lessons some future guidance and where you guys <clears throat> where you two are headed and some extra messages of love from the universe for you guys from my brand new deck and I will show you in just one second that brand new deck is the notes from the universe on love and connection really loving this deck I got this yesterday and I'm absolutely over the moon with it so let's jump into your reading and see what we have for you So we have cycles, the high, um, high priestess of spirit, honesty, and vision. So with this, I feel like the last either full moon or new moon, which just passed, um, well, is passing technically tonight. Happy new moon to all those who are celebrating that or enjoying it. I feel like you guys are either going to have a vision of this person coming in like your intuition is kind of like buzzing like crazy 
because my dog is going nuts over there. I don't know if you can hear her. If you can, I'm sorry about that. But anyways, moving on. Um, it's a new cycle coming in. So that means since this retrograde is finally getting over with, that the new will finally be coming in because that's what you've been working on manifesting. And if you haven't, set your intentions now or forever hold your peace because it will help you to um, open up intuitively and to see who this next person is that's coming in for you. And also, for those who are in a current relationship, I feel like your intuition is very heightened right now. And it's between the both of you. And I feel like that this connection that you've been in with this person has helped you to grow spiritually and to ascend and awaken as well. And to be more honest and open with you guys each, with both of each other. And I also feel like you've also heighten this person up and open them up and kind of slightly awaken them on their spiritual path as well as to why you two are together and I feel like you guys are I really want to say twin flames I know at least for some of you you are twin flames and you know it and since you've come together your intuition has both bursted and you've come into this whole brand new thing with everything opening at once I feel with some of you with your abilities with your um with your clairaudience with your clairvoyance clairsentience all your clairs I feel like everything has just finally come together and opened up for you and it's pretty much lit a fire in both of your hearts and bring you guys together so let's see what the lessons are that are happening or going to be happening. <clears throat> we have the four roses view of the ego. So basically the lesson is you're seeing each other for everything that you both are on the inside and the out. And that is the um, pretty much effect of the twin flame relationship is the absolute mirror of the other. You see each other for who you are on the inside through them they are your absolute mirror reflection is what I get with this because they are your other half or your other side basically because you are still complete and whole as one but they actually show you the sides that you really haven't either seen or come across and still need to deal with both together as one unit then we have the garden. With this, I feel like you've opened up together and the lesson is to be more open and childlike with each other and to be more expressive and playful with each other and also be more honest and open as well as what I hear. Then we have spring and autumn. So you guys are like basically two different seasons coming together finally and you guys are finding that fine line in between you and perfectly harmonizing with it. And you will be actually learning this lesson if you haven't already. Alrighty. Plus I honestly, for me, these two seasons are alike and they're like basically my favorite seasons because the temperatures are freaking perfect for the, um, two times of year because I can't stand when it's either too hot in the summer or when it's too freaking cold in the winter because I live up North in New York and spring and summer are my favorite times of year because the temperatures like I said are perfect the colors blossoming and blooming and then the colors of autumn when everything is coming to an end and closing out and um basically changing and getting ready for winter so that we can have spring blossom and bloom again together so basically you guys are coming together seeing those opposites in each other and meshing them well together I hope that makes sense. I really do. If it doesn't, ask me down below and I'll try and clarify as best as I can. Because half the time I forget what I say during my readings because I'm usually channeling. And I also don't go back and watch them for some reason. I just don't really feel drawn to. Just saying. So the benefits of these lessons are going to be joy with rejoicing the present. And this is like the fall energy. So it's like celebrating that coming together, that finality and that transformation and that 
the creativity and the transformation with this and <clears throat> what else I'm like there's something else and it's like the tip of my tongue and I'm like what is the word that I'm trying to say here like it's going to make you fall for each other harder because I'm really feeling like a falling type of feeling and like that closeness of coming together and catching one another I hope that makes sense and also, like I said, the creativity and the spark and the finality of coming together and finally joining with each other and learning these lessons and completing any karmic um, lessons that still needed to be finished between the both of you. We have Black Cat. Fortune meets opportunity. So with this, it's all about learning your intuition as well with each other and seeing each other in each other's eyes and seeing things for, for what they are and who you are in each other and noticing those traits and working with them instead of running from each other because I know there's that div silly thing with the twin flames where one is the runner one is the chaser I cannot stand that analogy and I cannot stand that phase at least just hearing about it because I have yet to meet mine if my husband's not it. I'm not quite sure, but I love my husband nonetheless. He is my life partner. I don't care. No matter what, he's mine. And I love him very much. <clears throat> and he knows that I talk about him in these readings as well. Plus, we have a surprise for you guys coming up soon. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to say much more about that. <laughs> I'm going to hold that out on you guys till it's ready. But anyways... Fortune meets opportunity. So learning these lessons is definitely going to uh, benefit you both and finally help you to see things for what they are and for them for who they are and yourselves for who you are and vice versa. To sum that up, then we have invisibility, authenticity. So like I said before, with seeing each other, what it's supposed to be and how it is and the absolute truth behind it instead of staying behind in the darkness and kind of like ignoring things and just sweeping things under the rug as if they're not there and as if they're invisible. These lessons are bringing everything out in the open and being clarified and cleared. And those are the benefits of that. So let's see where your relationship is headed, shall we? We have the sun. For this, for me... This cup always screams the Ace of Cups. More love and abundance and an overflowing and a new beginning in love and also a deeper commitment to each other is what I get with this card. And lots of happiness for you guys is, um, in store. We have the Temple Path. So this is definitely going to be a final journey for some of you, especially if it's with your twin flame. And a very, very um, happy time and a wonderful journey because life is all about the journey, not the ending of it remember that it's all about the journey because you learn so many lessons during that journey and taking in all those lessons is the beautiful part of it although some lessons aren't so very nice but I'm just saying the ending results of those lessons is the beauty part but anyways we have contract this is this whole contract that's being fulfilled between the both of you. That's where this is being headed. That's why some of you are in your twin flame relationships. These are also divinely timed soulmate relationships as well for those who are not twin flames just yet or have found them yet. But know that it's a soul contract that has to be fulfilled and is being fulfilled to its fullest. So let's get to these extra messages of love because I'm like dying to read these. These are notes from the universe to you guys. So, it says, you are destined for greatness <clears throat> on the wings of love. To clarify the primary roles of love <clears throat> are not to heal, fix, or mend, not to soothe, cure, or ease, not to even refresh, rejuvenate, or restore heartily. The primary roles of love are to yahoo, yeehaw, and woohoo! <laughs> Get your love on the universe. <laughs> I'm like, really, bro? <laughs> I'm like, um, yeah, I'm just going to leave that right there. <laughs> it 
It is what it is. You know what to do. In all battles of the heart over the mind, go with your heart. Because truly it's not, <clears throat> it's a lot easier for your mind to catch up with your heart than for your heart to catch up with your mind. A whole lot. Not that I don't love your mind. Sincerely, the universe. So the mind needs to be left behind with logic. You need to follow your heart. It's more heart-based intuition is what's being called for with this card. More heart-based heart centered energy, people. We have you've got time. There's no need to rush things is what I get and what I hear loud and clearly. You ever wonder what life or um, you ever wonder what would make <clears throat> life's fleeting pain and sorrow totally and unquestionably worth it? How about living forever, wildly in love and loved wildly? That sounds like a really fun type of thing, sort of, if you kind of think about it. I don't, I don't know. I think it would be fun. I'm always up for a challenge. But anyways, you have so much to look forward to, the universe. Definitely something to think about. But it's also always about taking that journey and enjoying the time that you have together is what that's saying to me. And then we have forgive. Of course, anger can always be justified, but then so can forgiveness. <clears throat> Just depends on how much more you want from the adventure. Go for the gobs, the universe. So forgive whatever has happened in your past and let that go and live in the now and stay present with your future in mind but stay present with your love as well so that way you can stay more heart-based and more present and aware of your um surroundings and your relationship and how your partner is feeling for those that are in current relationships Alrighty. so these are your messages i do hope that they resonated i do hope that you enjoyed this um video and to my new viewers please feel free to consider subscribing and joining our big happy family we are almost at 1k my loves thank you guys so much to my current subscribers you guys are so amazing and awesome i love reading all of your comments thank you guys so much for liking subscribing and sharing my videos out know that i love you and have a blessed one